And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the presentation of the first prize in our play competition. I'll hand over to Vishni Valeda Bilson, director, and one of our two judges, to present the prize of £100. Okay. Hello, good evening. Um, so first of all, just that it's been really, really hard to choose, as you can see, there's, there's sort of three really amazing and very different um, pieces of writing. Um, and luckily I've had the support of Emily Nightingale, who's also a playwright, um, but lives down in Sheffield, so couldn't be here tonight, so we've been sort of discussing it. And I asked her just to send me through a few of her comments to add to my own. I just thought I'd talk a little bit about each piece first. Um, so first of all, um, the first piece that we saw this evening, I'm going to quickly refer to <laughs> Modern Gods by Vivian Glantz and Samantha Adams played Jane in that piece. Um, and she, she wrote, um, Emily wrote to me and said that she thought it had been an absolute privilege to be a, a judge for the competition, that she really loved the diversity of the final pieces. Um, that Modern Gods is a poetic monologue that fuses fairy tale and realism to keep the audience on their toes, which I think is definitely true. Shifting through time and space, the play cleverly challenges our perceptions of beauty through a character who's both fragile and grotesque. And um, I think that's really important to sort of comment on her on this on this character because at first I didn't like this character at all, and I was sort of trying to sort of find a way of. But by the end, I really did grow to really like her. You know, we found a way, and she was both. I think you know, really kind of likeable and equally quite unlikable. It was really interestingly played out. I think Sam did. Oh, Sam did an amazing job. <laughs> And then the second piece called South End. Um, so Emily wrote that, that that piece she thought was a real sort of intimate two-hander that unraveled really slowly to, re to reveal a real sort of tragedy at its heart and that the characters are both compelling and believable and we come away with a feeling that we really know them. Um, and she thought it was driven strongly by sharp and resonant dialogue and the sense of place is really strong so strong, she says, that I could almost taste the estuary mud, which is a very, very lovely comment. And equally, I thought um, the characterisation was really strong in that piece, um, and I think the form of the play was really competent and complete, um, and that it had a real sort of authenticity about it, and it was, um, yeah, beautiful, beautifully constructed, and thank you very much indeed for my lovely, lovely Rachel and Dawn. <laughs> Finally, this piece that we've just seen, which I, I must admit I found the easiest to kind of bring off the page and direct, because um, I thought it worked really well as a little 15 minute piece, um, and um, in some ways it was just the most accessible for me to kind of get, get into and kind of work with, and Emily wrote that she thought it was a very funny and interesting and transporting play that jumped off the page, and that it had a real skill in creating it for a kind of 15 minute piece with a really nice sort of sense of comic timing and a very well judged ending. So very well done, and that piece was performed tonight by Gavin and Marva, who are going to start signing, and Hannah. So thank you. Very much. So, so it has been a real long deliberation, and I've been really thinking about it, and I had to really take myself out of the equation in terms of um, which one I preferred to direct, because really it wasn't being judged on performances, these pieces, they were being judged on the writing, which is why I worked hard with Emily to come to a resolution and the um, the final piece that we decided um, that we both thought you know was really well written and had a real kind of painfully restrained and was really beautifully crafted was South End. So that's <laughs> That's two prizes I've got tonight. <laughs> this one with a hundred pounds in it. And a grandchild, which one do I like this? A grandchild. <laughs> but you know, I'm well I'm amazed for one. Um, and I would just very much like to thank Gold Dust magazine for um, thinking of the idea of running this kind of competition for finding this lovely theatre to um, stage the finals. Um, 
to Fishnu, Fishnu, is it Fishnu? Fishnu. Fishnu and the Central School of Drama for doing such a wonderful job on all three plays. Mm. And I'm well, <laughs> And I would like to echo um, your... Fishnu's. I can't... <laughs> Fishnu, Fishnu. I can't see. No. Oh, I would like to echo yeah. your tutors. Praise of your performance in the first one. I oh, think it was absolutely you. wonderful. Very difficult to do such a monologue. Mm, so, um, and I just hope that Gold Dust magazine will repeat this um, <laughs> event next year. Because other people deserve the chance for to see a play that they've written actually performed. Mm -hmm. Thank you very Thank much. You. wrap up I just want to uh, also say a huge thank you to all of our cast and crew all of whom have given up their own free time on a voluntary basis to participate in casting rehearsal sourcing props and so on in order to make tonight the great success it has been and we have a bottle for each of our actors so perhaps uh, should we give those out now hmm. nice. <laughs> they can come and get their they never got a bow I think they should come and take yes, a bow Thank you to everyone for coming and good night. Mm. Yeah. Yeah.